Assalamu alaikum students welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to soil microbiology lecture series in today's lecture we will talk about very interesting topic pesticides their use and also will discuss about the adverse effects of pesticides on human responsible for cancer and other serious issues moreover in the end of this lecture you will see some important questions regarding this topic so what is a pesticide a chemical used to kill pest is generally known as pesticide so what is a pest pest just shows insect or other animals plant pathogens and weeds that attack crops food and livestock pesticides are used especially in agriculture crops some pesticides are harmful to humans either from direct contact or as a residue on food types of pesticides there are different types of pesticides such as insecticides fungicides herbicides rodenticides molicides and acaricides now what are the insecticides insecticides are those types of pesticides which kill particularly insects and other arthropods fungicides what are the fungicides fungicides are the types of pesticides which kill fungi causing plant diseases some examples of these fungi include pythium fusarium and rhizoctenia species rodenticides rodenticides are also the types of pesticides which kill particularly rodents rodents include rats mice squirrels nutria and beavers molluscicides these are the types of pesticides which kill mollusks mollusks include octopus squid snails and slugs acaricides acaricides are the pesticides which kill particularly ticks and mites nematocytes nematocytes are the types of pesticides which kill plant parasites nematodes nematodes are the numerous multicellular parasitic worms nematodes are very small and slender type worms herbicides now what are the herbicides herbicides are the types of pesticides which kill weeds are these are the chemicals used to kill weed plants what are the weeds and why we want to remove or kill these these types of the plants actually in crop fields many undesirable weeds a wild plant growing where it is not wanted not desired grow and affect damage the yields of crop so to get rid of such unwanted plant species from the fields different types of herbicides are sprayed over crop in agriculture effect of herbicides herbicides may have both positive and negative effects exposure of herbicides may slice soil may contaminate water herbicides may affect human health and 
these may last forever expire of herbicides in aquatic plants indirectly affects on fish herbicides may also kill all desirable organisms examples of different herbicides such as amino pyrrolid 2,4-D dichlorophenoxy acetic acid 2,5,4-T means trichlorophenoxy acetic acid atrazine glyphosate imazapir paracord and MCPA 2-methyl 4-chlorophenoxy acetic acid Biodegradation of herbicides Herbicides may be degraded by both bacterial and fungal species such as Bacillus, Pseudomonas, Acromobacter, Aspergillus, Penicillin and Lipomyces species. Moreover, certain factors such as temperature, pH, moisture, aeration, and other nutrient supplies which favor bacterial growth may influence the degradation process. 2,4-D Dichlorophenoxy Acetic Acid It is the most widely used herbicide in the world and third most commonly used in the United States. It is an example of synthetic auxin plant hormone. Many bacterial species are involved to metabolize 2,4-D such as Acromobacter, Arthrobacter, Cornibacterium, Flavobacterium and Mycoplasma species. Types of pesticides based on chemical aspects Chlorinated hydrocarbons, carbamates, chlorophenoxy acids, pyrethroids, organophosphates and many other heterocyclic compounds. Among the chlorinated hydrocarbons, the best known is DDT, dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane. It is spread worldwide. Degradation of pesticides. Degradation of pesticides is a process by which a pesticide is transformed into a substance that is environmentally adaptable with the site to which it was applied. Fast degradable agents or fast degradation. So, what is the fast degradation? Fast degradation means the degradation of the pesticides occur within the 1 to 12 weeks. Moderate degradation. Moderate degradation of the pesticides occurs within 1 to 18 months. Slow degradation. Slow degradation means that degradation of the pesticides occurs more than two years. Disadvantages of slow degradation of pesticides. Slow degradation or non-biodegradation may result in accumulation of pesticides in food web and development of resistance among the pest organisms. Moreover, accumulation of pesticides in food web may induce highly adverse health problems including cancer and even effects on reproduction, immune or nervous system. So before use, the pesticides must be examined or tested for the possible health effects on humans by the expert team. Resistance 
the resistance against the pesticides by a pest population may be due to several reasons in addition to slow degradation such as overdose of same pesticides with similar mode of action and also due to polar and apolar status of a pest and the pesticides chemical structure the use of small amount of pesticides less than lethal dose over millions of pest organisms may also cause resistance so if you look at the picture one of the pest organisms it has a apolar skin so here apolar pesticides are able to penetrate the skin and kill them one more example if you look at this pest population there is a significant number of pest organisms even in millions so in this case less lethal dose may be the reason of resistance the resistance among the pest population is genetically controlled and heritable process pesticide movement and degradation the movement of pesticides is based on two processes such as runoff and leaching whereas degradation of pesticide is divided into several types such as microbial degradation physical degradation such as hydrolysis photolysis and pyrolysis one more degradation type that's the volatilization so among the movement runoff means movement of pesticide in water generally this occurs in down slope but can also occurs on flat or even slightly uphill ground after flooding rain leaching leaching also called as percolation it is a process whereby pesticides move down through soil profile now in degradation the microbial degradation means the breakdown of pesticides by bacteria fungi and other microorganisms so among the physical degradation hydrolysis means the breakdown of pesticides by water photolysis means degradation of pesticides by sunlight and other types of light pyrolysis means the degradation of pesticides by heat or fire factors increasing degradation rate there are certain factors which are involved in faster degradation of the pesticides such as high temperature involved in faster degradation higher levels of humidity also involved in faster degradation of the pesticides higher number of microbes also cause the faster degradation of the pesticides more slope will cause the more runoff ph effect the ph effect depends on the chemical structure of a pesticide benefits of proper use of pesticides the proper use of pesticides allow agriculture producers to improve the quality quantity and diversity of our food supply use of pesticides in timber turf horticulture aquatic and structural pest control industries homeowners and home gardeners often use pesticides in their homes yards and 
on pets to control the pest population. Now, some important question regarding this lecture. Number one, give some examples of microbes which play a role in biodegradation of herbicides. Number two, what do you mean by term percolation? How would you define term pyrolysis? What are the effects of slow degradation of pesticides? Why is degradation of pesticide is necessary? What are the benefits of use of pesticides? How do pest organisms develop resistance against pesticides? What is the difference between rodenticides and pollicicides? What is the full form of DDT? What are acaricides?